Hey guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter, and for this week's bonus video, I wanted to do something that you guys requested a lot, which is unboxing and assembling this mini gacha toy, also known as Capsule Toy Machine. If you're wondering why I got this from, I got this from a website called Samurai Buyer. I'll leave all the information in the description box below, but pretty much Samurai Buyer is a search engine that searches Amazon Japan and Rakuten. And what you could do is order the stuff from Samurai Buyer, and they will ship it to their address in Japan and then forward it to you. Because sometimes Japanese websites just don't ship to North America or other places in the world. If you want more information on Samurai Buyer, I will put a link of the video where I give all the information. So you can check it out there and as well as the information description box below. Let's get to the fun stuff! Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> the reason I'm saying this, I'm like super excited. The reason I'm saying this is pretty cool is because these are the pictures that you can use if you want optionally in the front part of your little machine. So that is really cool because it gives me so many options. Okay, so let's put this together and see how poorly I do. The only instructions I have are the ones right behind the box, but thank goodness there are some English instructions as well. If these aren't the cutest little things ever, I don't know what is. They're so cute. So here is my little Getcha Fawn machine, or Getcha machine, I hope I'm saying either or right. This is pretty cool. I'm in love. <laughs> this is the only downside is that you have to probably sand these little extra pieces that are sticking out because they are kind of sharp. So they're not kind of kid friendly, but this is so cute. I love this. I'm going to build a second one and I want to put it right on top. My goodness, they are so cute. I love them. They are adorable. I can't wait to have my toys pose with these. I feel like I need a whole set of these. Maybe, I think I would need maybe at least eight. Eight more would make a pretty cool display. And I love that they give you pictures to put in there, but I'm probably going to change these and maybe put tiny little Pokemon ones and cat ones, just because I love Pokemon and cats. And of course, there's the option of stacking them one on top of the other, and the option is to remove this part and just clip it on to the other side. So let me know what you guys think. These are so cute, and I love that they give you so many of these little capsules that don't clip together. But that's okay, because you get about 100 of these and 10 of the other ones. The only disappointment, I guess maybe I had expectations that were a little too high for something this tiny, was for the dial to actually work, and if I had turned it, for one of them to actually come out. But I think that was a little too ambitious on my part. And now it's time for Brickbox. And for those of you who don't know, Brickbox is actually a subscription box that is owned by my friends. And Brickbox delivers monthly Lego and Lego-like stuff to your door every month. So it's pretty much like the other ones, but specifically for those who are fanatics of Lego stuff. If you know somebody who is a huge fan of these kinds of things, and the holidays are pretty much around the corner, Feel free to check them out. I will leave all their links in the description box below and I am not affiliated so there are no strings attached. So let's check what's in here. The staple little sticker. 
And as usual, we have a mix cells in the package, and this month it is Gox. <laughs> so we have Gox. At first, when I just saw one side, I was like, this penguin is a bodybuilder. But then I saw a kind of mustache, and I figured out that he looks like this. So it is not a penguin on steroids. Okay, so the next piece here is a motorcycle. And it's kind of like a 3-in-1. So you can build three different motorcycles, ages 7 to 12. But then again, I am not exactly the most talented LEGO person ever. So this will be good enough for someone like me. And these are the different kinds of motorcycles that you can create. And there are 129 pieces. I absolutely love this. This is really cool. So I'm curious to see how big this is. And then... Oh, that is so cool. Okay, now we have the Punisher. Every month Brickbox has a custom minifigure that is in your box. And last time I had Mario and it was really cool because I haven't seen that in the stores before. And now we have Punisher and he comes with his little gun. And here he is with his little gun. And there are some accessories in there as well. And they usually put some accessories in there for the minifigures. <laughs> okay, if this isn't cute, I don't know what it is. So we have a small box here that kind of just looks like a regular crate and has the Punisher symbol on it, but it is a storage. And he does come with a second little gun. There it is, so you can put it in the crate. So as you can see, this month's minifigure is the Punisher, which makes sense why there was a motorcycle. And another accessory here is a fabby box. So if you guys are huge collectors of minifigures, this is a good way to keep them safe. And then there's a pencil from the Lego movie of the villain. I don't know why the name escapes me, but you guys know who I'm talking about. So what is the name of this bad guy? I totally forgot. Which was voiced by Will Ferrell, if I'm not mistaken. Until then, I will see you guys on Thursday.